Slavery has been called deeply rooted in the structure of the northwestern African country of Mauritania, and closely tied to the ethnic composition of the country. In 1905, an end of slavery in Mauritania was declared by the colonial French administration, but the vastness of Mauritania mostly gave the law very few successes. In 1981, Mauritania became the last country in the world to abolish slavery, when a presidential decree abolished the practice. However, no criminal laws were passed to enforce the ban. In 2007, under international pressure, the government passed a law allowing slaveholders to be prosecuted. Despite this, the number of slaves in the country has been estimated by Global Slavery Index to be 43,000 or 1.058% of the population in 2015 and by the organization SOS Slavery to be up to 600,000 or 17% of the population. Sociologist Kevin Bales and Global Slavery Index estimate that Mauritania has the highest proportion of people in slavery of any country in the world. While other countries in the region have people in slave-like conditions. The situation in Mauritania is unusually severe. According to African history professor Bruce Hall, the position of the government of Mauritania is that slavery is totally finished, all people are free, and that talk of it suggests manipulation by the West, an act of enmity toward Islam, or influence from the worldwide Jewish conspiracy. However, Amnesty International estimates that 43,000 people still live in slavery in Mauritania. It notes that Slavery was outlawed in 1981 but 1% 1 of the population are still living in bondage, human rights groups say. Black people of certain ethnic groups are often enslaved as domestic workers by lighter-skinned Mauritanians. The country has jailed more anti-slavery activists than slave owners, rights groups say. One. Topic. Background A November 2009 United Nations mission, headed by UN Special Rapporteur Gulnara Shahinian, evaluated slavery practices in the country. In an August 2010 report to the United Nations Human Rights Council it concluded that Despite laws, programs and difference of opinion with regard to the existence of slavery in Mauritania, De facto slavery continues to exist in Mauritania. Slave status has been passed down through the generations. The descendants of black Africans captured during historical slave raids now live in Mauritania as black Moors or Harriton. Some of them still serve as slaves to the lighter skinned white or Baden whites, Berbers or mixed Berber Arabs, descendants of slave owners known collectively as Al Baden. According to Global Slavery Index, slavery of adults and children in Mauritania primarily takes the form of chattel slavery, i.e. the slaves and their descendants are the full property of their masters. Slaves may be bought and sold, rented out and given away as gifts. Slavery in Mauritania is prevalent in both rural and urban areas, but women are reportedly disproportionately affected by slavery. Women slaves usually work within the domestic sphere, caring for children and doing domestic chores, but may also herd animals and farm. Women slaves are subject to sexual assault by their masters. Because slave status is matrilineal, slaves typically serve the same families that their mothers and grandmothers did. They usually sleep and eat in the same quarters as the animals of their owning families. Slaves are not restrained by chains but by economic and psychological factors. They are denied education in secular fields that provide job skills, and taught that questioning slavery is tantamount to questioning Islam. There is also a gray area or a continuum between slavery and freedom in Mauritania, referred to politely as the vestiges of slavery, where sharecroppers and workers are exploited by Baden landowners and bosses. According to Ahmed Val Old Dine, of Mauritanian Human Rights Watch, slaves tend to develop very close relations with their masters. The freed ones, who are poor and have inherited nothing from their parents, chose to remain under the auspices of their ex-masters as they provide them with basic necessities of life. 
Two academics, Ahmed Maloud and Muhammad el Mokhtar Sidi Haba, have criticized statements on slavery in Mauritania by anti slavery organizations and writers for alleged exaggeration, lack of statistical sources, factual errors. Government position The government of Mauritania which is dominated by Badenese, denies that slavery exists in the country. According to Abdel Nasser Old Ethmane, a political advisor to the African Union and a co-founder of the abolitionist group SOS Slaves, the Mauritanian government's line on slavery is Slavery no longer exists, and talk of it suggests manipulation by the West, an act of enmity toward Islam, or influence from the worldwide Jewish conspiracy. Responding to accusations of human rights abuse, in 2012 the Mauritanian Minister of Rural Development, Brahim Old Mbarak Old Med El Mokhtar, stated, I must tell you that in Mauritania, freedom is total, freedom of thought, equality, of all men and women of Mauritania. In all cases, especially with this government, this is in the past. There are probably former relationships, slavery relationships and familial relationships from old days and of the older generations, maybe, or descendants who wish to continue to be in relationships with descendants of their old masters, for familial reasons, or out of affinity, and maybe also for economic interests. But slavery is something that is totally finished. All people are free in Mauritania and this phenomenon no longer exists. And I believe that I can tell you that no one profits from this commerce. In March 2013, the president established an agency to combat slavery, known as the National Agency to Fight Against the Vestiges of Slavery, Integration, and Fight Against Poverty. The director, Hamdi Old Majub, a Baden, told The New Yorker author Alexis Okiowo, Slavery as an institution, as something accepted by society, does not exist in Mauritania, and that his agency was working on a program to help farmers and others to build clinics and improve access to water. Causes of persistence Among the reasons given for the difficulty of ending slavery in Mauritania are Many of the slaves are isolated by illiteracy, poverty, and geography, and do not know that life outside servitude is possible. The difficulty of enforcing any laws in the country's vast desert. Poverty that limits opportunities for slaves to support themselves if freed. Dependence on masters who provide food and clothing to slaves. Difficulty of running away and leaving families in large parts of the country that are desert. Belief that slavery is part of the natural order of this society. Belief in a misguided interpretation of Islam, in which slaves are told that their paradise is bound to their master and that if they do what the master tells them, they will go to heaven. Mauritanian laws, which place the burden of proof on the slave, require that a victim file a complaint before an investigation is launched, and that human rights organizations may not file a case on behalf of a victim, despite the fact that most slaves are illiterate. <laughs> Anti-slavery organizations Mauritanian anti-slavery organizations include Initiative for the Resurgence of the Abolitionist Movement, Ira Mauritania is led by Baram Da Abiyad, a former slave. Alhor Alechar translated as the free. Inatak Antak translated as emancipation. SOS Esclaves meaning SOS slaves in French aids slaves to escape from their masters, and petitions the government and the clergy to address the problem of slavery, but stops short of aggressively confronting authorities like Ira Mauritania. SOS was co-founded by Boubacar Messoud, a former slave who went on to study engineering and architecture in Mali and Moscow. As of 2014, he was in his late 60s and so, according to Messoud, may represent an older generation. In 2011, Mesoud and Baram Da Abiyad held a hunger strike in a Nouakchott police station until the police put a slave owner in jail. See also Human rights in Mauritania Human trafficking in Mauritania 
Islamic views on slavery Slavery in Africa Slavery in modern Africa <laughs>